Hey, I've uh, been playing this since the patch dropped, but my friend has had to use my capture card uh, pretty regularly. So I haven't really had a chance to actually sit down and record it. Unfortunately, my internet is a uh, spoobar at the moment. I can't play online or anything, so I'm just going to play through arcade. So I'm going to use my team here, and then maybe I'll do a little overview on the characters. But I think Clockwork and the, the guys at the end way, they actually already explained all that, so we'll see how I feel at the end. <laughs> I'm not terribly good with them either, so I'll probably just give like a little brief, like, quick look at them, but that's it. They also added uh, friend matches in this. Uh, unfortunately, there are there's still not lobbies, which I think is kind of odd that they Three, don't have that, two, but having friend one. matches is huge. Fight. You used to have to, like, pray that you get the same person that you're trying to play in a uh, ranked or casual. So Jen basically has an air dash and she has doom hidden missiles, so Check she's a pretty potent out. character. <clears throat> kind of odd how they're like like updating this game not the things that they're updating with but the way that they announce it like there's never like a release date for anything everything just gets shadow dropped so playing this game on a regular basis is like watching e3 every month <laughs> you just wake up in the morning you know since they're they're over here in california like i am you just kind of wake up in the morning and the game's just updating there's a cool trailer but i definitely wish they would give like more time for people to get excited Still have not fixed this level of dropping frames on the Switch version. Pretty annoying. Do my regular combo on her. From what I've been told, they have, like, uh, Hasbro forces them to be, like, really tight-lipped in regards to anything in this game, unless it's, like, just straight gameplay. Like, if someone asks the frame data for an attack, like, they can give that, but, like, anything else at all, they can't say anything. Kinda wish Hasbro would let them talk about the game more. I think that would garner more interest. Hold it right there. 
<laughs> Computer supers on reaction. The new characters are very fun, they definitely bring an interesting dynamic to the game, like, uh... Gold Zeo is a very mix-up heavy character. And Jen is, like, the only character that has an air dash, so if you're used to, like, air dasher type games, he's probably the character for you. Obviously, that's a lot of what I play as well, but... I like Jen as a character in Time Force. They're pretty accurate to the show for the most part, but there are some characters like, uh, like the movie Blue Ranger where there's like no, <laughs> there's no, like, fight scenes or anything to really go off of. I remember when they, uh, they first announced him for the, the first free update, they were talking about how they had to take liberties. It's like, well, of course you had to take liberties. There were like no fight scenes in that movie whatsoever. I watched that movie in the theaters. I was massively disappointed. I had a friend of mine take me for free and I still felt disappointed. I thought the characters were more realistic, but there was no semblance of action in the movie at all, which, you know, for a tokusatsu movie, that's like, unacceptable. I don't get how they skimped on something like that. But apparently it's going to get rebooted because, uh, Hasbro doesn't want to continue the, uh, that reboot, so I guess they're going to reboot it again. Typical Hollywood fashion. So only two of the three uh, the paid DLC characters are out. The third one is going to be Lord Zed, and they said that he's going to be coming out at a later date. I think they realized how much the game was kind of dying online, and they wanted to just push something out, which I think is good. Uh, the Discord is very active for this. People are posting tech and combos and stuff on a regular basis, but due to the way that the game was structured, it was like virtually impossible to play with any of those people. It was not like... You know, other quote-unquote Discord fighters, you know, games like this that have a very dedicated fan base that's also very small, and it's 
subsequently it's harder to get matches just with random people. Like you couldn't just arrange a match with somebody. So I can kind of see why they did that. It's more for time. Hold on, my mic's <laughs> falling off. Alright, there we go. So Jen basically has pixie health, so she can really only take like maybe one like high meter combo, a high resources combo. I guess that's to balance out her mobility, but her uh, her normals are pretty short range as well, and they're pretty easy to punish from what I've seen. I haven't really learned her mix-ups yet, I mostly use her as a mid because her assist is really good, but she's actually pretty decent on point too. Pretty well balanced character, but she can't really take much damage. So I don't really think she's the best point character. Uh, my my uh, T was active. That was really weird. I'm not a fan of the Megazord mechanic in this game. Kind of wish they had a more interesting comeback. I was kind of holding off playing this game for a while, not because I was tired of it, I always enjoyed playing this game, but it was a lot harder to find matches. And like I said, you can't play this game in typical Discord fighter fashion and just have everybody, you know, arrange matches in the server. <laughs> so it felt kind of like unplayable in some cases.
<laughs> you have been warned. <laughs> The story mode also was left at a cliffhanger too, and I don't really think that was because they ran out of budget. Obviously Hasbro is publishing and funding this game. I think it was more an issue of just not having enough characters. <laughs> it kind of reminds me like early iterations of like long-running Muso sub franchises like One Piece and Ken's Rage and stuff like that, where they like can't really do a whole lot else with the story because there's not enough playable characters and would basically just be fighting generics for really excessively long periods of time. That's pretty much what happens here. Uh, there are even some characters that appeared in the cutscenes that aren't playable. So people are assuming they're going to be in like season two or something. The story was actually quite good. Obviously, this is one of the few like licensed games I've played on this channel where I actually watched a ton of the source material. I've watched pretty much the majority of the seasons of Power Rangers. Uh, some bits and pieces, but the majority I actually completed. So I was actually really immersed in the story and it just kind of ended on the cliffhanger, but I kind of realized like how, how could they really do it when they only have they only had 12 characters in the game at the time. Uh, Doggy Kruger, a Larn from Samurai, the the equivalent of Kaoru Shiba from Shin Kenger. I think there were a couple other characters. Uh, Jen was in there too, uh, Pink Ranger I was just playing as right now. So I assume they're going to add them next and then maybe they'll expand the story once they have more playable characters. Because you do have the... Uh, the Mastodon Sentry guys, which are basically this game's version of just generic mooks or generic officers, but I don't really think fighting them for a whole other campaign would be too interesting. So I'm interested to see what they'll do with this game moving forward. I do still agree that they need lobbies. Uh, that would be a lot better than just having to pull a Discord fighter and arrange a match that way. But baby steps here. We're actually able to play this game just uh, without having to worry about ranked. There's also crossplay too, but only with the Xbox version. Uh, I don't even think PS4 has the DLC characters right now because there's some kind of distribution problem with Sony servers or whatever. But you know how it is, uh, Sony never plays nice with the other companies. But uh, I know there's going to be cross-play with the PC version as well. I know from what I've read in the Discord, a lot of people are waiting on the PC version before they jump in. So uh, when cross-play gets added between that, uh, I think this game will have a pretty healthy community. Usually with like Discord fighters like this, you know, there's like the PS4 version and then the PC version, but the PC one is usually the one that has the more consistent player base because we're already at the end of the lifespan of the PS4 at this point, and I know that games like this are kind of going to get buried a little bit, so I'm kind of excited to get this again on PC. Hopefully they'll have crossplay between all three versions. Uh, they were mentioning that back when the game was being uh, announced uh, earlier this year, but... I don't know if that's still on the cards, but since they have it working with the Xbox, I assume it will be. So I actually can't show you the N-Way Play feature because my internet in my town is all messed up right now. But basically, uh, you can choose from people you recently fought or people on your friends list, and you can get matches that way. So for once, uh, having friends on the Nintendo Switch actually has a purpose, at least in this game. <laughs> in a lot of games, uh, the friend code is basically pointless. You can't really do a lot with it, but there are some games that do... Uh, like have invite features and things like that so if you haven't played this game in a while I definitely recommend coming back uh, the lobbies and stuff and the balance changes are free obviously it's just the characters that you'll have to pay for is $20 and you'll only get uh, two of them right now Lord Zed will be available at a later date I assume like next month or something anyway that's it uh, I'm not gonna bother doing an overview of the Zero Ranger I'll probably do that next time I would like to run some ranked or maybe some casual matches with him later, but I kind of can't do that right now. So I'll get back to you guys later. Thanks for watching. Peace.